today I'm going to show you how to compare two well-known web scraping methods that are online. One is using regular expression and the other is using beautiful soup. So right now I have two files that are open so I'm preparing to do a web scraping based on regular expression. The other is that I'm going to web scrape using beautiful soup. And today it's going to be a comparison session just to make sure that everyone understand what are the difference, differences between regular expression web scraping and beautiful scoop, beautiful soup web scraping. Okay, so let's try to start with the beginning. So that is, this is running on Python 3.7, and I'm importing my URL lib request, and I am going to be reading in a television from Walmart.com. Okay, I'm going to do it for the regular expression and then do it for the beautiful soup next. So I have the same URL right now here and ready. Okay, let's try to do the regular expression first. Okay, so for those people who are comfortable using regular expression as web scraping, what you would do is that first you copy this URL, okay, and then probably open up a browser, and then I'm going to be opening up the television here and let's say for example I'm trying to capture 548 which is the price of this television okay so for the traditional regular inspection web scraping is that you would probably try to go to view page source and then you are going to search for the price which was 548.00 it seems that there has been three occasions and now you're trying to find the regular expression that is leading to 548. So let's say, for example, that I start somewhere from here. And then let's say I'm going to capture all the way to here. Okay. So I'm going to be asking my program to capture this regular expression, Okay, what I have just highlighted. So I'm going to copy that, and now I'm going to go back to my Python program here. And for my regular expression, so this is going to be my regex. And regex is going to be re.findAll. And remember, this was the whole thing that I'm trying to read in right here. And I'm going to capture whatever that is between, which seems to be 548 right here. So I'm going to say that capture this area. And so I'm going to replace 548 with parenthesis dot star and question mark, which means that I want to capture anything that is in between. Okay, now in order to pass in regular ex expression, I need to pass in my HTML file, which I have just read as a text. So I would need HTML text, which is going to be HTML file dot read. Okay, and I'm going to ask my regex to be reading in this part. So I'm going to pass it as a string, and that's going to be my HTML text. Okay. So I'm going to get that HTML text, and finally I'm going to do my print job. And remember, this was a Samsung 65-inch TV, and it is going to be printing out my price and that was my regex okay. so once I execute everything let's see what happens here so now I'm executing my file and it seems that I'm getting my 548 and that's my price so I correctly get my price for my Samsung 65 inch television okay now how that is different from the beautiful soup is that for beautiful soup you pretty much do the same thing so that is I'm going to pass in my HTML file to my beautiful soup and I'm going to parse that HTML 
and I'm going to name that as soup. Okay, and now I'm going to go to my website again here. And again, I'm trying to capture this 548. This is the price that I'm trying to capture. And I'm going to look here and try to see which one is more easier to capture. And right now, 548 seems that it is under span, ca span class visual visually hidden. And you could see that I have another visually hid hidden. And you could see that for most people who are familiar with Beautiful Soup, this is not going to be the best class to capture 548 because you might have multiple of them and some of them might not be 548. So I think it's a better idea to try to capture this 548 uh, right here because it seems that it is under a span class of price characteristic and it is of item prop is equal to price so I could capture its content or I could capture whatever string is that is following suit. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to my program and what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to have soup find, I think it was item prop, item prop equal, let me just copy this item prop equal price. So I'm gonna copy that. I am going to paste it here. Okay, and I'm going to say this is price, which is the value that I'm trying to get. Okay, and now I once I have price, let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm going to be executing all this stuff. And it seems that I didn't really print out anything, so it is giving me price. But what I would like to see is that what is under price. Okay, so, so what are the attributes of price? And it seems that ah, the attribute of price is, let me enlarge this, attribute of price is having attributes and under content it is having 548.00. So what I could do is that I can now print my price and attributes and it is under content. Is that right? Is it under content? So actually I have two content and content, but I think either one would work. I'm gonna go with content or just to show you that the other one is going to work, I could just say that price and then it is content, which is also containing 548. Okay, it seems that the top one, this line 11, it's going to, it's going to give me uh, 548.00. The second line 12, that's going to give me 548, okay? So let's see if I in fact get that. Okay, so now I'm executing the file and it seems that I'm getting 548.00 and 548, okay? So you could quickly see what I did in terms of trying to capture the prices by using regex and beautiful soup, okay? So regex, it is trying to get the regular expression and while you get that regular expression, I'm asking the program to capture what it is in between, okay? And if you look at for beautiful soup, okay? Once I get that price information, I look for vars. So this was vars right here, okay? And while I go into how it was, the attributes are, I found the attributes and it was content that has the 548.00 or contents that has the 548. Okay, and I was going to go ahead and print that. Okay, so the end result is pretty much the same, but you can clearly see how I get that is a little bit different. You could say that programming wise, that regular expression can be a little bit dirty if you have a really long regular expression to in order to get that information. And beautiful soup is actually more succinct in terms of trying to get that information. All I needed to do was item prop equals uh, print price. 
I guess the difference is that if you have knowledge in terms of HTML, it is easier to use beautiful soup because you could easily look up into vars and try to understand what type of attributes that there are and you can correctly get the uh, information that you're seeking for. If you're not really familiar with HTML and you're just kind of beginning to use uh, Python, I would recommend that regex is actually easier to use because you do not need to know any HTML knowledge. All you need to understand is that, okay, I do I know what the regular expression is? And just try to identify what is unique in terms of trying to capture the price information. So what is unique front and back? back of that information and once you're able to capture that regular expression then you will be able to execute the file okay so hopefully this was a, a useful session in terms of comparing the two web scraping methods um, so based on your exp um, experience level if you're more experienced in i guess beautiful soup would be easier if not regular expression would be perfectly fine okay all right Thank you, and I'll probably see you later. Bye.